and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some budget mono black. All right, so we got our third budget deck. Uh, we're going through each one of the five colors and we're making a budget deck for each one. The reason why we're doing the uh, single colors is because it helps the mana base. We don't have to worry about you know getting all the rare dual lands and stuff like that. Um, we're also just playing some best of one. Black was this was a really difficult deck to make a budget deck for. My um, criteria for a budget deck that I'm using is no more than eight rares and no more than two mythics. So I, I chose eight rares because that's two play sets. Our rares that we got have here we have three Ephemia, three Timurette, Calls the Dead, and two Nightmare Shepherd. There's no mythics in the deck, um, but that's that's the criteria that I have for all the other decks. Um, no more than eight rares and no more than two mythics. Hopefully make it easy on building. Um, Black has a lot of very good cards, but basically they're all rare. <laughs> it's it's kind of hard to like put this together. I, I kind of did a couple of different versions, and I, I settled on this. I think this is probably going to be the best one. Um, basically going with a Hateful Eidolon package. So we have Hateful Eidolon with some auras. We have Deadweight and Meyer's Grasp. We have Mogus's Favor that we're able to escape and recast from the graveyard um, over and over. And Mogus's Graveyard, we can even, you know, it's plus two minus one, so it pairs well with Hateful Eidolon where you can put it on the Eidolon and turn the Eidolon into a 3-1 lifelinker. And then we also have a couple of Kaya's Ghost Forms as well. Um, and then, you know, like we can, you know, like we can put like a Kaya's Ghost Form on a creature and then we can sacrifice the creature to Witch's Oven also uh, to bring the creature back, draw a card with Hateful Eidolon and so on. So we're going with a, a good amount of enchantments. Um, we got some uh, enchantment. So then I'm going to go with the enchantment creature theme with Timurant is an enchantment creature. Ephemia, you know, if you exile enchantment from your graveyard, you can make some zombies. Timurant can mill over cards to your graveyard, which allows you to, um, you know, make zombies with it. But then you can also put extra enchantments in your graveyard to exile with Ephemia. And you, Timurant can also kind of be a, a card that helps you search for Cauldron Familiar because you get to mill over um, three cards a couple of times. You can find Cauldron Familiars if you have Witch's Oven and bring back your Cauldron Familiar when you sack something else to make food and, and so on. So we have some synergy there. Um, you know, Shepard's also an enchantment creature. Uh, we have a, we're have using Drag to the Underworld for our removal because we can't, you know, Murderous Rider is a rare, takes up that slot. And then at the top end, we got some Gray Merchants. I'm not sure, you know, like, we only have 23 land. We got, like, a low curve. It does cost five. Um, but it's just kind of the best thing to be doing without playing more rares like Midnight Reaper and Murderous Rider and stuff like that. Um, so that's so that's what we went here. Yeah, like the Devotion Route, um, you know, like a Yara is a rare. I don't know, the Devotion Route is kind of tough too. Um, but yeah, so this is this is what we're going to go ahead and try for our uh, budget mono black. And let's so let's uh, get to some games and see how it does. All right, so we're going to be playing over in Ranked, playing nine games over there. Um, as far as if you, you know, like, if you want to know how we did on the previous games, for, for those of y'all watching on YouTube and hide in the records. Oh, I didn't change, I didn't change the avatar. We still have our blue avatar. Oh, well, this could be a pretty sweet hand. How do I want to do this? I want to play Hateful Eidolon and then, yeah, play Hateful Eidolon and then play Ephemia and then play Eidolon plus Grasp. I hope they don't kill this Eidolon. All right, good sign. Oh, gosh. Maybe I should have just gone double idle on, honestly. I'm I wanted to play Ephemia because I wanted I want to have Ephemia be the um the target for removal if there is removal.
Yeah, we need some witches ovens to go with those cats. Yep, yep, the annex, it was a 4-3, but after the minus 3, minus 3, it turned into just being a 1-3, so no. If they have Embercleave also, I don't, don't really know what I'm supposed to do against Embercleave also. Yeah, just good hand. Very good hand. Yep, praying for that fifth land. Or an aura that kills one of their creatures. We definitely need one of those two things. Yeah. Two, four, five, six, seven. Sweet. Can we can we do it? Can we do it? Ooh. So what does that mean? It means they don't get to activate Castle Embereth. That's good. That kind of means they're dead, right? Steam King's just going to do eight. I don't see any way that they can pump. Don't think I'm missing anything. Can't add mana. Oh, 
Hopefully I'm not missing anything. So they have two blockers. That's not enough. Wow, we did it. Our budget mono black deck. Oh, the Seder can't even block. One blocker. We still did it. GG's. Oh, Avatar. Cancel, cancel, cancel. I don't know. This We are on kind of a hot streak with this Mu Yanling Avatar. Oh, it's you. There we go. And I need to uh, change the kitty cat. We need a, a black cat. Now I, um, we might have still had the blue cat. There is no Ashiok avatar. A lot of mono red and best of one these days. Play Steam Ken. Yeah. We're doing it. We're doing it. We are doing it. Two and O. Oh. And we had another another removal spell after that too. Yeah, hateful Eidolon with the auras is awesome. No auras to go with the Hateful Idol on this time. Maybe we'll draw some auras. I like playing Hateful Eidolon and an Aura the same turn. So that's why I'm going with like the Cauldron Familiar to start with. Uh-oh. Grixis Control. I'd really like to draw Witch's Oven. That's what I'd like to draw. I'm just gonna hope not a sweeper. I think my best chance of winning is no sweeper. I don't think just like sitting back and holding hateful idol on is the way to go. I'm just trying to get as much damage in it as as we can. Yeah, disinformation campaign with Croc. Yeah, there is a lot of good discard now with agonizing remorse. Croc said campaign could be a cool Grixis campaign deck out there. I haven't tried that yet. Those together yet, but yeah, you're right. Like they're.
definitely be some cool stuff with all that. Oh, I like seeing the scry two to the bottom. Merchant. Oh. Thinking maybe holding the cauldron familiar because then, like, we if they sweeper, then we draw witch's oven. We'd be able to play familiar with plus oven. And plus maybe they, you know, like the familiar is one point of damage. Maybe they'll go down to like two and not realize that, that we're going to have lethal. I'm doing good, Choco. Yeah, I'm doing good. I think they got this. I think we just kind of drew a little bit too little. Just drew not quite enough gas. We basically had one Cauldron Familiar, one Hateful Eidolon, and an Ephemia. <laughs> and that's it. They discarded my Nightmare Shepherd. So they did not have very much gas. Another familiar or an oven. Timorit. You don't do anything. So close. If I would have just played this other called familiar earlier. I've put the the Mogus's favor on the familiar because you know we we could we had the chance of drawing another familiar or an oven for lethal before they start gaining more life with interplanar beacon. Yeah, so Timur just can help me gain some life, I guess, but.
So they're scrying upkeep. They still get to play two cards with Fires of Invention. All right, they're both at the top. Pretty difficult to win this now. Um, probably need to get lucky drawing Grey Merchants. Yeah, that one beacon, that one life from the Interplanar Beacon. Maybe if I would have played the Cauldron Familiar the turn before. All right, so they're just gonna fade for a sweeper. If they just fade for a sweeper, then, um, you know, Gray Merchant or oh no, and the God Eternals that gains four life. Never mind. That's not good. Thanks, Uvar. Thanks for the resub. Oh, it's a sub number seven. All right, Gray Merchant. Gray Merchant. My intellect is without nope. limit. Yeah, that's going good. Witness a moat of my power. Yeah, I mean, I guess we just can't attack because I think Grey Merchants are only hope. But obviously, if they just play like any Planeswalker, we came close. We just didn't have, didn't quite have enough. It was a good game though. Uh, Gonk, whatever you want. It's your choice. If you do a donation deck, I will play it as I receive it. Or if you want me to change stuff first, I will do that also. You just you just let me know what you want. And I will do it either way. Yeah, so far I've been I've been pleasantly surprised with our list. We're gonna be two and one now. We defeated Mono Red the first two. Yeah, there's just too many lands. I'm only playing twenty three. But we drew eight. And like five spells. Happens. Um but yeah, we're playing it's kinda like a budget list. We're playing some some budget uh, stuff to start with today. And so we can just stay around 500. I'm happy with that. Hey, Lupo. Good games there. Steam vents. So it may not be a deck that I get good Myers Grasp value from. We'll see. It's not looking like it though. I can always just Myers grasp my hateful Eidolon and then I draw two and Eidolon comes back. I am not going to sit this one out. 
That hurts, of course. This might be a bad idea. I think we're about to be two and two. This has been a, a great hand against a creature deck, a small creature deck. Here we go. Not against a fairy into Clarion. Here goes nothing. Looks like they're just wait, looking for a fifth land and they're just going to play all these five drops and I'm dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, two and two. our first time seeing Witch's Oven. Yeah, we got some budget decks today. Been happy with how this deck's been playing. I should have led with the oven. Yeah, because then they could have shocked the idol on. I should have led with the oven, turn one. Alright, that was my bad. Definitely my bad. Because then I see Mountain, and then I just don't even play the Eidolon. Or at least they, they probably tap out and play, like, Scourge Spitter whenever I play Oven, and then I can play Eidolon plus Ghost Form. Yeah, definitely my bad. That was... This is the third budget deck of the day. Yeah, we played... Uh... Mono white and mono blue. Now we're on mono black. Um, I I took off the scores off the top left so that people can. Um, so like for people on YouTube, so they don't see it. But you can type exclamation point score into the chat if you want to 
know the records in the chat. They're saying good games, they don't have very much. I don't have like just a ton either. Basically kind of waiting for like Annex for the Myers Grasp, I guess. Yeah, we're still doing yeah, we're still doing good with the the budget decks. I think the blue one is the best out of all five. I think this is maybe the one that'll struggle the most. I don't know, but yeah, yeah, I'm happy with our records and everything. So I want to yes bring it back from Shepherd from Ghost Form, not from Shepherd. It'd be a great time to find Grey Merchant. Timurant Calls the Dead. I forgot about that card. That's a cool card. Oh no, my Grey Merchant. There's one Grey Merchant down. Alright. Three and two. <laughs> yeah, we're, we got mono red budget budget mono red up next against everybody else's mono red deck. Ooh, where's the hateful idol on? Yeah, we're currently three zero against mono red with this deck, and we're zero two against the control decks. So it looks like we got mono red for the fourth time. Yeah, I'm looking forward to playing mono green also. Yeah, I can have the budget decks in the sub battle day. I'll just make sideboards for them. <clears throat> All right, milled over three lands.
Even though I wouldn't necessarily mind drawing a land. Okay. Well, I guess we had four in a row. It's a lot of lands. Now, if they try stomping again with Bone Crutcher Giant, we have the Witch's Oven. Which they. If that is Stomp. Yeah, they really should have done that before the Oven resolved. Now we can bring back Calder Familiar. Look at that. That's just good deck building. Okay, I want the, no, I want the two to happen first. The second chapter needs to happen first so we can uh, get rid of another Timurek Calls the Dead. So we can get another zombie and now we gain two life, scry two. I'll take the fifth land for Grey Merchant, but I don't need another one after that. So we'll just keep that land there. And plus you wouldn't want to scry and then mill stuff over. That's not good sequencing either. Take another oven. Hmm. So I could Myers Grasp kill the Bone Crusher Giant, then I can attack in for five. But that doesn't use my mana that well. So I'm playing the Grey Merchant where next turn I can Grasp plus Oven. Yeah, we've had a lot of land so far, haven't we? So that's 1, 2, it's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we've gone through 10 of the lands, which, but I guess for 25, going through 20 some cards, like that's throughout the right number of lands. Oh, I didn't. I was just talking and I did not do the whole Cauldron Familiar thing. Whoops. I'll take two. Yeah, that land pocket would have been deadly if it wasn't for Timurette milling over all of them. Be able to bring back both, both card familiars. Should have had one extra point of damage. It should be seven to twenty-seven if I would have done the other, which is up in that turn I missed. But hopefully we can still finish this out. Bunch of bone crushers.
because we got this in four turns. Two witches ovens. Just hard cast the light up? Yeah, I guess so, right? I was thinking about blocking the 1-1 one, one to make it so they don't get to cast that for one mana, but no, I shouldn't do that. But I, I do get to block the Steamkin, so if they what, did want to add mana. All right. Born 2. GG's. Do I have a current favorite fun and competitive standard deck? Yeah, probably like probably the Demir Kraken deck. Both that and the Teamer Ramp. I like both of those a lot. Um, I'm working on Grixis still. Because uh, I want to make a sweet Grixis deck. I'm working on that still. Just so much mono red. Uh, you know, it's the beginning of a format. Everybody's just playing mono red. It's our fifth, fifth match versus mono red. And best of one. Uh, just for this league. You know, out of seven games, five of them mono red. You think Mono Red's the best budget deck? I would, uh, I would argue that's Mono Blue. Not Mono Red. Hey, Necrolepsy. I'm just gonna get this Nightmare Shepherd in play, but Deadweight's a good draw, but I don't wanna just do Deadweight as like my only thing for the turn. My best block against Ember Cleave. I think this is my best block against Ember Cleave. strike wrong they should 
Should first strike the hateful idol on. Oh, well then no, because then the other thing kills it. All right, never mind. So yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> All right, so Shepard's still alive. You can kill Steamkin. Mayfers, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. Thank you, Mayfers. It's our eighth sub of the day. Yeah, because like they attack, I get to block with, I get to block with uh, Gray Merchant. Then it comes back. Do does another five damage to him. In a rough spot there. Okay, awesome. Well, you're welcome, Mayfers. Uh, I don't. I don't know. Uh, that the Rakdos discard. That's it. Is, that is a donation deck. I didn't. I did not build that deck. Um, so I don't know. I, I've never played it before. So I don't know how it will do. Because Deadweight, the Steam can just only is just you know it costs one mana, but that's only using one one mana and I just wasting four mana if I do that. I uh, I get to draw a card, but you know, playing the Grey Merchant with having the Nightmare Shepherd in play. Oh gosh, I hope we're playing against aggro. This is either gonna be a, a good hand or an auto loss. Well auto loss. That's great. We've just been playing against so much mono red. No, Jeskai fires. Auto loss. And we could just go on to the next one. <laughs> You're not helping out, draw steps. Yeah, all eight matches have either been against Mono Red or Fires. We're going to be 5 0 against Mono Red and 0 3 against Fires. One of the Fires was Grixis. But I, I kept a hand that. You know, that's the thing about best of one. It's That's why there's a lot of, you know, like really aggro decks or really control decks, because you want your cards good against everything. Um. So I guess I'm going to Myers Grasp and Mogus Favors. <laughs> All the auras.
We're working hard. That would have been a, a sweet effect. That would have been sweet against a, you know, a deck like Model Red, but not against Fires. All right, last last match here. Let's see. Do we go nine for nine playing against either Mono Red or Fires of Invention, or do we get to actually play against something else? <laughs> yep, we got the twenty Mythic deck over there. That's that's like our worst. I mean, Jeskai Fires is like our worst matchup because like none of our stuff dies to their auras, or like none of our auras die to their. Wait. Yeah, none of their creatures die to our, our auras. There we go. Looks like another blue white control. So it looks like we're dead again. Well, I guess if you, if you want to defeat Mono Red, we got a good chance. Oh, I've done Controlled X. Our deck has not looked so good. We're also only playing 23 lands. We want to stop drawing lands. Don't need six. I guess it's not a land. Don't make another move. I'll protect you. <clears throat> okay, so we went five and four, which still isn't, that's not too bad. I was, I was kind of worried about like, you know, how we would do with this deck. Um, but yeah, we went five, four, we, we beat all the, the mono red players, we went five oh there. So yeah, if you're just playing against a whole lot of mono red and you want a budget deck to beat mono red, here you go. Here we go. Um, blue control that was obviously really tough because our 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 aura plan trying to say our than aura and stuff our aura plan is not very good against the the blue decks that have sweepers and really large creatures um it's just how it is but um you know with a, a budget monocolor deck going five and four i'll take it all right, so that's budget mono black. We got two more to go. We got mono red and mono green. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, of course, hit that like button over there and leave the comments. Um, you know, let me know what you think of all the decks, all the you know the budget decks, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but thank you so much for watching some budget mono black, mono black, and I will see you for the next video.